12, 16 and a half. Let's jump into it. We got a lot of road to cover. And at the end of this, we're going to be talking about potentially snow covered roads. Right now, it's 40 degrees TV. He'll take all these temperatures, be you in Frederick, Rock Hall, La Plata, Hagerstown, Elkton. Knock them back by five. That's going to be your wind chill. But uh, you walk out the door and in that sunshine, a whole lot more comfortable because of this big southerly flow than it's felt in the past couple of days. And it is a little breezy out there, not terribly, but a little breezy as we move. Through the day, we'll peak out in the mid 40s. Well, that's double the double the forecast temperature the past couple of days, and much more than that if you count in a wind chill. We are going to start to cloud up a little bit later on. But keep your eye on that wind direction. Still coming up from the south. That's a mild flow that will be with us through tomorrow. And we are going to get a little bit of a blanket effect because of these clouds in Baltimore, Dundalk, pick an area, Pasadena, Hampstead, Bel Air, Sykesville, and temperatures will only settle down into the upper 20s, and that's much warmer than our daytime has past couple of days. You'll notice we continue this southerly flow to, through tomorrow. But I want you to know once we get into Friday, wow, here comes that northwest component again, and that means cold air is back in the mid Atlantic. Tomorrow, again, we're going to be in the mid 40s with a generous amount of sunshine, but that, that wind change is going to now help set the stage for a low moving up the coast that you've been hearing about. It's all over social media, and we're going to address that here. Surely, this is going to be a coastal low. If you've just moved to the area, these storms are are really uh, they 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 don't show their personality immediately. They evolve as they move up the coast. The further away from shore, the more snow we get as they throw all this moisture in on that cold air that that low is going to pull down. If that low comes right over us, the heavier snow stays out to the west. It can't tap this 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 pool of moisture called the Atlantic Ocean, and for that matter, the Delaware and Chesapeake Bay. Uh, models, though, are showing significant snowfall potential. The forecast, there's a lot of uncertainty right now, but it's certain this storm's going to form over the Tennessee Valley and head to the coast. You're going to have to stay weather aware and check for forecast updates. Now, here you go. We've had a pretty snowy January so far. Our average monthly snow is 6.4. Well, we're coming up on 10 inches with more potentially on the way. Now, this is what I want you to be aware of, clickbait. Because, look, we're all on the Internet, okay? We, we all have Twitter or Instagram or Facebook. Here's an example of clickbait. The world is coming to an end. We've got the story. You click it. It registers. It helps sell advertising. Beware of clickbait. It overpromises and misrepresents. And that misrepresents an actual forecast. Follow a trusted source. You're on Twitter. Look for that little uh, blue check mark. It's a verified account. And expect this forecast to change. It's going to evolve and require regular updates that you need to be aware of. And we've got you covered. We'll be giving you those updates over the next many days. Tim, you take it away.